In this video, I'm going to show how we control the volume, and this is important when we have background music, and then we also have someone talking at the same time. Obviously, we're going to want to reduce the volume of the background music so that the speaker is audible. And this process of reducing the volume is called ducking, because it ducks under the voice of whoever is talking. So I've created a little Final Cut Express project, and I've set my settings and renamed uh, the, uh, the sequence, and I've imported an AIF file, and I've also brought that down to my timeline. And if I play it on my timeline, well, that's obviously way too loud for someone to be speaking over it. So here's how we do it. Um, if I come down to the bottom left-hand corner of the Final Cut Express window, I'll find that there's a little icon that says Toggle Clip Overlays. And when I click that, a red horizontal line will appear for the length of my audio track. And if I just grab that, I can reduce the volume by dragging that red line downwards. So if we play it now, so you can hear that I've got the music much lower. But there are going to be times when that's too gross or too crude a measure. And what I want to be able to do is duck only a portion off my audio and then bring it back up. In order to do that, I'm going to come over to the tool palette and I'm going to select the pen tool. And I'm going to go to the point in my timeline where I want the audio to begin to go down, to be reduced. And I'll just click. And you can see there's a keyframe, and we've worked with keyframes before. And I'm going to set a second keyframe where I want the audio to begin to come back up. Now I'm also going to set two extra keyframes. Uh, one where I start to bring the audio down from its current position and one where I start to bring it up. So one more time, I'm just going to very quickly set two more keyframes and I'm being arbitrary about where I'm placing them. And I'm going to take these two keyframes and I'm going to bring the first one down to practically nothing and the second one. And you can see that these areas over here represent the drop off of the audio volume, and then when it comes back up. So let's play it and you can see what happens. And I could be talking over that. And then it returns to the normal volume. So the tool to use is, first of all, the toggle clip overlays tool, which let you make them visible and invisible and the pen tool, which you'll find over in the tool palette. And by setting four keyframes, you can control when the volume begins to reduce and when the volume begins to come back up.